and exhort you that you should do what? Energy contained for the faith. Praise the Lord. There's a faith that has been delivered unto the saints. So you can see that faith that is being used here is something that has been delivered. And common, the word common that is being used here is not in the context in which when we are in school, he said, my name is not a common noun, all right? Names, they are proper nouns, they are common nouns, but is that, it's not in that context that we are looking at. The, 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 what we are looking at in this uh, search scripture today is that the word common, remember our Lord Jesus Christ, the captain of our salvation, make, allude us to be what? Ye are the light of the world. And he also alludes that ye are what? The salt of the earth. All right? Many of us know the phrase common salt. Why do we say common salt? Because if you are in England, salt is the same salt. If you are in America, salt is the same salt. If you are in Africa, you are in Singapore, you are in Hong Kong, you are in the Philippines, Salt is the same salt. If salt is white in Philippines, the same salt is white in Lagos, the same salt is white here in America. Praise the Lord. If you look at the characteristic of the salt, salt is sweet. Salt preserves. And believers, as we are salt of the earth, it means that any born again believer, whether in India today, any born again believer, whether in South America, in the Caribbean, in America, they will have the same Bible characteristics. That is the faith that God is calling us to contain, that faith is universal, is common. When we say that this is a born again believer, whether you are in Lagos or whether you are here in Washington, D.C., it is the same standard, the same characteristics. Praise the Lord. So often uh, people have been saying that when you, when you bring the whole counsel of God to somebody and they want, the person wants to dodge, from that whole council of God, he will start telling you, oh, don't you think that this is America? Eh? This is America? Does America have its own Bible? Is that the same Bible all over the world? Is there a different standard that God will use to judge America on the judgment day? So that is why we need to contain. We need to contain for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. And remember, each time you want to think about, meditate upon, about this charge, always know that God, the, our, the captain of our salvation has given us a title. Your name is Sister Salt. Your name is Brother Salt. You want, once you, you are absent, you are absent in somewhere are the people going to feel that there was a salt that was lacking? Oh, the workplace was not sweet today because Brother Salt was not there. The fellowship was not sweet today because Sister Salt was not there. May our lives be like that in Jesus' name. We are going to look at three uh, major things uh, in this search of scripture shortly. We are going to look at the church. We are going to look at the condemnation for the corruptors of the truth. And we're also going to look at the commendation, our commendation and our consolation. And we will ginger ourselves to really pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We want somebody with a fast, a fast reader. Uh, we are going to give the chance to our brothers. God, our sisters have been so active. We thank God for them. But if there is no brother that is a fast reader, we will give chance again to our sisters to continue with the flag. Praise the Lord. 
Is there any one among the brothers, a fast reader to read for us? Jude verse, chapter one verse, it's only one chapter from verse one to 25. Can I see a hand up? Yes, brother, waving, yes. You can go to the mic, please, read quickly. The brother who raised his hand, yeah, God bless you. And, and which one, sir? Jude, from verse one to 25. It's only one chapter. Okay. <clears throat> Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and brother of James, to them that are sanctified, God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ, and called. Mercy to you, and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write to you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write to you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to, the condemnation, to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God to lasciviousness and denying <clears throat> the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterward, destroyed them that believe not. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the arch archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about <laughs> he disputed about the body of Moses, did not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, "The Lord rebuke you, or the Lord rebuke thee." But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe to them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error, error of Balaam. For reward and perished in the gainsaying of Kore. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withers without fruit. Twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these saying, Behold, the Lord comes with his ten thousands, with, with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts and their mouth speaks great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember the words which were spoken before of the apostles 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they hold you there, how, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling, <laughs> and now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless, before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty and dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. Um, the writer addresses uh, this book is um, referred to as the Epistle General. That is, is not addressed to a particular family or a particular group of people, but it's addressed to the Christendom at that time and to us in our contemporary times. The writer, you can see that, you can see the humility, you can see the transformation that has taken place in this writer. The name Jude actually is a short form of the, the name Judas. In the, in the Bible, there are about six people in the scriptures that are named Judas. And uh, there's one Judas that uh, Judas Iscariot that uh, died as a backslider and is languishing in hellfire. But the other ones, like Jude, the writer here, um, since then, People, nobody has given a name of a child Judas. People have tried, they, have, they have abide by the short form Jude. Praise the Lord. So this Jude that we see here is the stepbrother to our Lord Jesus Christ. That's after Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, the rest of the children, they are about, we can say they at least Mary had, after delivering our Lord, Mary had at least seven uh, children, five boys, and uh, plus, we can say plus two girls. I mean, plus two uh, girls, because the number of girls are not actually uh, listed in the scripture. They just say they had daughters. So we, we assume that at least there would be more than one, since they say daughters in plural. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, Jude is among the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the stepbrothers, and um, he gave his life to Christ after the resurrection of our Lord. And not only that, the senior among them is James. And uh, when he writes, he introduced himself for, for the church to know who is the writer? It says that the brother of James. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And he so much reverenced the Lord. Despite the fact that they have lived together in the family, remember that Jesus Christ started ministry at the age of 30, which means that from childhood to that 30 years, you know, children that are born after Jude coming in, having the privilege of staying in the same house with our Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, when Jesus Christ started ministering and they were, they had not yet, they were making 
jest of him, but after the resurrection, they said, no, this is no longer a laughing matter. And we thank God that uh, with the other brethren, they gave their, their life to the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit used him as one of the writers, just as the Holy Spirit used the senior brother to him, James, as one of the writers of the book of, of James. And also, that, the writer of the book of James is a, it was a senior pastor in the early church. He was the, the overseer in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. So we can now understand that this man has really uh, sucked in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ that in his one chapter alone, th there are deep truths, deep theological truth. He talks about eschatology, about the coming, the, the, the things, the, the events of the last days. He talks about um, the doctrine of salvation. And he summarizes for us that we need to earnestly contend for the faith. And in contention, we need to look at things in four perspectives. When you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, there are four things that will stand against you. Sin will, start, will continue to contend with you. The devil, you need to contend with you. The world, we need to contend with you. And you are very sad. The flesh, we need to contend with you. So these are the areas that we need to guard very well. You know, Paul the Apostle, uh, in writing in, in, uh, chapter, in the 12th chapter of Hebrews, he, he says, looking unto Jesus, and not only looking unto Jesus, that we should lay aside anything that uh, easily beset us, that we should look at, when you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, look around you and say, what are the areas that I was used to in the world? Is it women? Is it money? Is it pride? So look at those soft spots in your life and lay aside them. Praise the Lord. For Billy Graham, Billy Graham will not drive a car with a woman that is not a wife in the car. If Billy Graham comes to church, I mean to the office, and the secretary, the secretary used to, it was a woman, Billy Graham will wait outside until another person comes. Why was he doing that? He was contending. Praise the Lord. If you are, you are on, is it money? You have to be careful with money. Make sure that you, if it is money, make sure that you build up principle around that. That will make you not to fall in Jesus' name. Contending for the faith is very, very essential. Contending for the faith means that we need to be very passionate we need to be very passionate about it we need to be very honest about it we need to be i mean there are there are qualities characteristics that we need to really look at containing containing for that faith what are we going 